Okay, so here we are inside my Sheetify CRM, my Google Sheets CRM template, also known as a Google Workspace CRM, as it's built into your Google Workspace account and it's connected with all your favorite Google apps. Now the focus of today's tutorial is to show you how you can capture leads inside your Sheetify CRM using Google Forms as well as your Google Sites website. Now with our Sheetify CRM, what we can do is navigate up to the Sheetify menu, then navigate down to set up Sheetify, and then go ahead and click on create a form. Then simply navigate down to the sheet that was created, and this is where you can see all the leads that you have captured. Now I'm going to navigate down to the sheet, click the drop down, and then navigate up to rename, and call this sheet website leads. Next, what we want to do is customize and manage the Google form that's connected to this sheet. To do that, simply navigate up to tools, then come down to manage form and click on edit form. And this is the form that's going to be embedded on your Google site or on your other website. Then what you want to do is name your form. Remember, this is the form that we're going to embed on our website. And you can embed this form on any website that you run. For the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to embed this form onto a Google site. So your website visitors will see this form. So what we want to do is go ahead and customize this form. I'm actually going to name this form Strategy Sessions. Then go ahead and add a description. And as you can see, I've added get in touch with us by filling out the form below if you would like to book a strategy session with us. Now you can also navigate up to customize theme and we can customize the theme if we like by adding our theme colors. We can also choose a form header. I'm gonna go ahead and upload an image. And I like this image here. And as you can see, I've quickly gone ahead and added this cover image for my booking form. Take the time to customize your theme by adding the text style. Now, if we navigate down this form, we can also make changes to each of these form fields if we like. However, I'm going to add these form fields as they are. Now, you can see we have this option here, select the relevant type here. I can navigate up here and change this to select your business type here. And then we have this option down here, how did you find out about us? Now, with these two options, this field here, as well as this field, it's recommended that you make customizations inside the settings tab in our Sheetify CRM before generating the form. For example, let's head back to our Sheetify CRM and then navigate down the page and locate settings. And here we have type. Remember in our Google form, you could see these options here. And ideally you want to add your own options in here. For example, type could reference anything. It could be type of customer, type of industry, service type that you offer, it could be anything. Then we have source, and again, you can customize the source over here. And so the type option as well as source option is what you can see on the Google form. And whatever you add here will be generated in your Google form when you create the Google form inside Google Sheets like I showed you at the beginning of this tutorial. And these options here under source as well as under type, if we navigate back over to contacts and leads, you can see those options under type over here and under source. So again, you can add your own values within settings. Okay, so let's navigate back over to our Google form. Now with your Google form, ideally what you wanna do is navigate up to responses and then click on these three dots and choose if you wanna get email notifications for new responses. So every time you receive a new lead from this form, you'll get an email notification. That way you can stay on top of all your new leads that you generate. Okay, so I'm happy with this form. Now what you can do is navigate over to send and then navigate over to this option here, embed. And you can simply take this embed code and you can embed this form into your website. Now because we're using a Google site to embed this form, we do not need to take this code. We can simply choose this form from the Google Sites interface. And I'll show you how to do that. Let's go ahead and cancel out of this and then head over to a Google site. And here we are in my Google Sites website, Stu's Consulting. And remember, I want to embed the form that I just created inside my Sheetify CRM onto this website. So I'm going to navigate over to Book Now. And as you can see on this Book Now page, I currently do not have a form. To add a form, simply navigate over to the right hand side and locate Google Forms. As you can see, we have Google Forms down here. And this is the form that we just created. Click on the form. Now it's important to note that you must be using the same Google account for Google Sheets for your Google Form and your Sheetify CRM. And then navigate down here and make it full width. I'm happy with that. Then we can change the color of the background if we like. We can add an image. 
we can add style 2 or if we click here style 3 but I'm happy with style 1. I like this minimalistic look and just like that we've added this lead capture form onto our booking page on our website. Now let's go ahead and test out this booking form. I'm going to publish this website and click on publish and then preview this website. For the purpose of today's tutorial I'm going to quickly go ahead and fill out this form and show you how to manage that lead inside your Sheetify CRM. Okay, so I've quickly gone ahead and filled out this form. What I'm going to do is come down and click on Submit. And as you can see, the response has been submitted. Let's navigate back over to our Sheetify CRM. Come down and locate Website Leads. And as you can see, we have our first lead generated in here. Now, the way that we've set up this form, what we can do is simply highlight the data from our form. This is the lead that we just captured. Then navigate up to Edit and then select Copy. Then navigate over to Contacts and Leads. And this is a qualified lead, so what I'm going to do is navigate over to Full Name, come down to this empty row here, right click, then Paste Special and Values Only. And as you can see, all of that data has been entered in here. I can add the added date, which is today, and then other record data along here. For the sales pipeline status, I'm going to click New Lead. If you want to learn more about our Sheetify CRM, I'll add relevant resources down below in the description to help you get the most out of this CRM. And it's as simple as that to add new leads to your Sheetify CRM. This is using the connected Google form and the website that we connected the lead generation form to. However, that is it for this Sheetify CRM tutorial showing you how to capture leads through your website.